when you're in winter's favorite town. The snow-covered mountains surround you. A historic Main Street charms you. And every day brings a new adventure. Welcome to Park City, Utah. Naturally, winter's favorite town. <sighs> Join the experience at visitparkcity.com. This is the Washington Times front page for Tuesday, September 10th, 2024. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Republicans on the House Foreign Affairs Committee say President Biden was so insistent on a complete U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan that he disregarded the advice of his top security team and put politics ahead of U.S. national interests in the region. Mike Glenn and Stephen Dynan report the committee issued its report on the troubled final days and botched evacuation as Taliban fighters were toppling the U.S.-backed government in Kabul. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, then Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman Mark Milley, and then U.S. Central Command Head Frank McKenzie were among those who urged the White House to keep about 2,500 troops in Afghanistan to prevent a collapse of the government. The chaotic withdrawal in August 2021 was punctuated by a suicide bomb attack that killed 13 U.S. service members and scores of local civilians at the Kabul airport. Several officials told the committee the guidance about who would be admitted into the airport to leave the country changed daily, and officers on the ground were left to their own judgments about whom to refuse and whom to admit. Committee Democrats took sharp issue with the Republican report, and the State Department issued a rejection of the study. Several hundred volunteer lawyers plan to be in swing states on Election Day to watch for irregularities or errors. Alex Hoyer reports lawyers in those states generally focus on mundane issues. They consider what happens if a polling location opens late, or a voting machine goes down or runs out of ballots. Republicans at the national and state levels are training poll observers to flag concerns about ballots and procedures. Officials from the Democratic National Committee didn't respond to a request for comment about their legal team's efforts. As the presidential election approaches, Tom Howell and Susan Fericcio take a look at where both candidates stand on the issues, focusing first on energy. Democratic nominee Kamala Harris has been vague about her plans to govern on energy as she tries to keep climate activists in her corner, without angering voters who rely on the oil and gas economy. Republican nominee Donald Trump is hoping to weaken Harris's chances in Rust Belt states by spotlighting her policies against fossil fuels, the Biden administration's reduction in oil and gas leases on federal lands, and significant increases in upfront drilling costs. And finally, the issue of long-term demographic trends is only now gaining prominence in American politics, but has been common in many democracies in Europe. Falling birth rates, declining family sizes, and a dearth of younger workers to support the growing ranks of retirees are familiar campaign issues with massive electoral consequences across the continent. In one example, Italian women now have an average of 1.3 children over their lifetimes. The country hasn't had a birth rate above the replacement rate, estimated at 2.1 children per woman, since 1975. My all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or the Washington Times app and find us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us on social media at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo. Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. Recently, I asked Mint Mobile's legal team if big wireless companies are allowed to raise prices due to inflation. They said yes. And then when I asked if raising prices technically violates those onerous two-year contracts, they said, what the f*** are you talking about, you insane Hollywood ass!" So to recap, we're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from $30 a month to just $15 a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes in detail.